you wrote an op-ed, mm -hmm. Ryan Priebus, H.R. McMaster, Steve Bannon, then reached out to you. Correct. And they wanted to hear more? They wanted to hear more, and then weeks later they said, okay, figure out what that actually costs. Give us a, give us a comparison. And so um, rationalizing and going down to a true battalion level mentor program that supports the entire Afghan army. Remember, the Afghan Special Forces works. There's about 17,000 of them because they've been mentored by U.S. Special Forces in exactly the way I'm recommending. They used to do village stability operations. That works really well. Again, it was shut down by conventional army generals. <clears throat> So, so mentoring the rest of the Afghan army in that same proven model works. Second, giving them some air, give them some governance support so when the battalions order resupply, they get their food, their fuel, their mm -hmm. ammunition, their parts on time. That's what you need to keep the Afghan forces afloat. All the rest, that goes from a $45 billion spend this year. Next year, the Pentagon needs over $50 billion, more than the entire UK defense budget. All that takes you down to less than 10. Less than 10 is what you say 40 it's billion cost. back to the Pentagon. So, so there's, look, there's a lot of people that say, just pull out of Afghanistan. I disagree with that because I think the Taliban or ISIS would raise their battle flag over the U.S. Embassy hmm. in six months or a year. That's bad. But continuing the same, I would say, insanity that we've been doing for the last 16 years has to change. And I think the president is uncomfortable Our, with that level, with, with that continuing on uh, Have you course. spoken to him directly I have not about this? Nope. So when you talk about H.R. Uh, McMaster, National Security Advisor, and Steve Bannon, are you still talking to them about these ideas? The, uh, I would say General McMaster does not like this idea because mm -hmm. he is a, uh, a three-star conventional Army general. Mm -hmm. And he is wedded to that idea that the U.S. Army is going to solve this. But I think for the president, he's got to say, after 16 years, when do we, when do we try something different? And in this, in, in this, here's the thing. The U.S. isn't doing anything below a core level, right? That's the highest unit of, of movement of the Afghan Army. They're not doing anything at the ground level of the Afghan army. So this can operate there, operate effectively, and create the off-ramp for the rest of U.S. forces to leave. Let's be done. We're so, still losing Americans. There was two American yes. kids killed last week in the first 30 days of their deployment. Enough. So Steve Bannon is more receptive to this. So I think Steve Bannon and other, uh, other folks even in NSC and, um, and even quite a few in Congress.